wanted to vlog all day, but it did not work out. Oh, you got a floating vlog now. This is like the only vlog piece I have. It's a nice shot. Yeah, I wanted to start at the beginning of the day and just kind of walk through everything. But mm -hmm. We're almost done. Just got a little more B-roll. And we got all our interviews done. So, yeah. See, uh... You guys can judge uh, if I'm any good at this. Hey guys, it's Tom from Renaissance Digital. I finally got around to making another video. After all the traction the first one got, I was I was kind of shocked. And, you know, it's I've been super busy with work, but we're here. Another video. Was able to get some BTS from my last job. Um, I was working with my good friend Jalen Beatty from Beatty Films. Uh, he has a production company. We were working for an agency uh, that had a client who was a nonprofit. We we're at a co working space, so it's actually a really nice space. Brick, uh, big windows. Some of the spots we had to film weren't ideal because there were smaller rooms, but you know, that's often the way it goes. We we're using the Canon C70. I've actually found that camera matches quite well to the Alexa, much better than a lot of other cameras I've used. Um, just the color and contrast straight off the bat look pretty close. I've been really happy with it. We'll see what you guys think. Compared to the S1, the contrast is closer. You know, the, the DGO sensor is closer to what the Alexa is doing. Uh, the Panasonic, you can get really close, especially with the emotive color LUTs. Uh, but it just it re requires more work. So we did some stuff on the Easy Rig, on the Dana Dolly. Uh, just some standard handheld stuff. We did some gimbal stuff with the C70. We made use of the autofocus. And not gonna lie, autofocus is quite helpful sometimes. Uh, if you don't have the crew to pull off certain shots, it can save time and money, definitely. Uh, but sometimes just that natural handheld look with manual lenses that the Alexa gives can be great. It just gives that organic feel. You can get the rack focus. You can get the flares that the vintage lenses give. I often shoot on vintage glass. Uh, it's what I own. I love the kind of more unique looks that uh, the vintage lenses have. I own a set of Pentax K and then Canon FD. Um, one of the downsides of using EF mount glass is the mount. So the latex mount that I own for the Alexa, it's fantastic. Uh, the way it's designed, it gets rid of the chance of your lenses not fitting perfectly and having that kind of lens wobble. Uh, the mount kind of twists into place like a PL mount. So even though the tolerances for EF glass is not great, it kind of makes up for that and you never have a loose lens, right? But because of that design, it just takes longer to put the lenses on and take them off. I much prefer the PL mount uh, system. Uh, working with it frequently. It's just so much nicer and it's hard to go back to using EF mount. I know like it only adds a few seconds using that latex EF mount. It's not it's not terrible, but it, it kind of drives me crazy. And uh, it's just one of those small things. Small things add, add up. And I know I'm the guy who uses a 16 pound camera versus a two pound camera. So, you know, you win some and you lose some. I was able to shoot in 120p today, which is really cool. I kind of rarely do that for corporate stuff, but we were basically doing these kind of portrait shots and we wanted our, you know, the subjects to kind of look up and give, you know, a really natural smile, maybe a laugh. That's sometimes hard to get. People can be shy, you know, nervous around the cameras and shooting in 120p, you know, even if it's just a couple good seconds, it will stretch that out and give you something usable. So it really came in handy in the situation. And you know, the 120p out of the Alexa looks phenomenal. Here's some footage of just stuff I've shot over the past, you know, few months. Nothing crazy, but uh, you know, all fun stuff.
There was certainly some worry when purchasing the classic. It, it's a bit of an investment, you know, and uh, of course you put time into any system that you buy, so you don't want to waste that time. But I've been really happy with it. It just it works really well for what I do, and uh, you know it's been a bit of a relief and you know really overjoyed because I I love. I love the Alexa, and I love that I'm able to use it, you know? Five years ago wouldn't have been the case. I wanna thank everyone for leaving all the positive likes and comments, it's been really helpful. We're gonna have a lot of cool content coming up soon. Should be a C70 versus Alexa video. I'm going out to uh, North Carolina to visit a friend of mine who's a DP who owns a Komodo, so we'll be doing Komodo versus Alexa. I'm doing a short film next month with a director who I'm really excited to work with. So I'll get some content on that. Um, <laughs> I asked her, you know, what some of her favorite films were. And the first thing she mentioned was Drive. And I knew it was going to be a good fit from there because that's like one of my favorite films. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.